weather hot. Yes, it is going to be hot once again this afternoon, and this is really the hottest time of the year. So we are going to talk a little bit about the skyrocketing temps and why we are so hot in this time of the year. I mean, of course, we're getting close to summer, but a big reason is we are not seeing these storm systems dive down toward the state anymore. So that is one reason that we're not seeing cooler temperatures with that moisture. And also it's too early for monsoon season, so we're not really pulling up moisture from the Gulf or the Pacific. So we do have high pressure sitting right over the state. And when that happens, we do heat up. And the all-time record high for Albuquerque is 107 degrees, and that was set on June 26, 1994. So we're getting right into that time of the year where it is the hottest time of the year for the state of New Mexico. On average, Albuquerque has about three days a year above 100 degrees. So it's not unheard of for Albuquerque to be right around 100 degrees around this time of the year. Our average highs cool down by mid-July. We actually see a little bit cooler temperatures through the second half of summer than the first half of summer. And 100 degrees is most likely between June 28th and July 2nd. So we are going to be looking at a hot two to three, maybe even four weeks or so. But once we get past that, we'll start to get into monsoon season and we'll start to see those temperatures come down. Winds, however, will be coming up a little bit today. We can already see those flags flapping a little bit in the breeze. 90 degrees, the current temperature, so it is rather hot out there, especially for the noon hour, already into the 80s across the northern mountains, 88 in Taos, 87 in Los Alamos, certainly not helping the situation across the northern mountains with those fires. We're also seeing those hot temperatures down in the southwestern part of the state, 94 in TRC, 93 in Silver City, and then for toward the east, we're up to 97 already in Clayton, 96 in Tucumcari, and 92 right now in Roswell. Winds are starting to whip up, especially across the northern portion of the state. We're looking at 30 mile per hour wind gusts in Los Alamos, 28 in Taos, 32 in Las Vegas, and 20 in Santa Fe and we'll continue to deal with the winds across the north throughout the afternoon and then a little bit less wind for tomorrow. We are looking at mostly clear skies across the state and it looks like the precip chances will be rather slim throughout the day. So with high pressure control over the next couple of days, don't expect much in the way of shower activity. Expect those hot temperatures to continue and a little bit of wind once again for this afternoon. Not quite as much for tomorrow as high pressure centers right over the state, but the fire danger will be high nonetheless through the next couple of days. Then toward the latter part of the week, we will bring in a disturbance that will give us a chance at a couple of spot storms across the north and east, but don't get your hopes up too much because we're only looking at a slim chance and a few of these storms once again could deliver a little bit of dry lightning, which is certainly not going to help the fire situation. Over southern Colorado today, a warm afternoon on the way into the mid to upper 80s, even up into the low 90s for Cortez with mostly sunny skies. There's those chances of getting a couple of showers or storms toward the weekend and into early next week. Over the northwest, mostly sunny skies, highs into the upper 80s to low 90s. We'll be in the mid 90s throughout a good portion of the work week before we start to see those temperatures come back down to the low 90s over the weekend. Over the southwest, triple digit heat for several locations. Silver City into the mid 90s and it stays warm through the next couple of days. A little bit cooler toward the weekend with a chance of picking up a couple of storms. Over the southeast, mostly sunny, highs in the upper 90s to low hundreds. We stay in the low hundreds in Roswell through at least Thursday and then those temperatures come down a little bit for Friday and Saturday, but only to to the mid to upper 90s and then we're back to near 100 by the beginning of next week. Over the northeast, breezy with winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. Highs into the upper 90s to low hundreds here as well. We'll have a better chance of maybe picking up a couple of showers and storms toward the weekend as highs drop back into the 80s over the northern mountains. Winds will be gusting up to 40 miles per hour. Certainly not helping the fire concerns up there. Perhaps a chance at a couple of spot showers or storms over the weekend. Over the east mountains, highs into the 90s for most locations in the metro. We'll be in the upper 90s to near 100 and we are looking at the heat throughout a good portion of the work week. Could grab a storm by the start of the weekend. All right, sounds good, John. Thank you.